Hi guys, welcome to my channel, African Gypsy. My name is Sunshine. I'm doing a psychic weekly forecast for the week ahead. Let's say from the 17th till the 25th of July. Remember that time is fluid, so things may happen before or after the dates, the dates that I've set. I am a clairvoyant, so I see visions, and I'm also clear audience, and so I hear words, thoughts, and conversations, and even phrases or songs that may have happened or that may, that may be about to happen. I'm also an empath, so I might start speaking as if I'm you or someone else that you know during the course of the reading. All right, this is a general reading, so take what fits, leave the rest. What do we need to know? Oh, thank you, Spirit. The universe works fast when I'm having fun, and we've got hope is a conduit for miracles. I'll put this up here. So, you, God, universe, creator, whatever force you call that name, they work much faster when you're having fun, when you're relaxed. There are times in your life when you've prayed or manifested things or done affirmations. I use the word pray loosely, so whatever positive spiritual practice. And um, you find that maybe you're having fun, you make a conscious effort to be to lighten things up and relax, and miracles start happening as you're having your fun. Oh, look at this. There's a happily ever after. So whatever you've been going through, I know the last few readings for the past few weeks have been very intense. Um, there's been a lot of conflict, some cloak and dagger and all of that. So it's a welcome relief to see things turning around with a happily ever after. Look at this here. Wherever you're coming from, it's been very dark, but you've had guidance. And it's look how much brighter it is where you're going to. You've learned your lessons, you've bossed up, and you've got divine help on your side as well. So things will definitely flow for you in a good way, right? Let's bring out the big girls here. Let's find out. What does the collective need to know for the week 17th to the 25th of July, 2021? Clear, concise messages, please, for the collective. What does the collective need to know? I'm sending you so much love, peace, and blessings to those who are going through all sorts of things wherever you are in the world. I know from what I've been picking up in the readings, um, those who followed the weekly psychic readings, thank you for your support. And I've gotten a lot of feedback. People say, you know, this has really been helpful. A lot of things have played out. And I even got a special request. Someone said, please, can you just post it a little earlier? That's why I'm doing it today. It's the 16th of July as I'm recording this. All right, what do we need to know here? Ooh. So... Happily ever after is coming because there's a wish fulfillment coming in. Something you've prayed and hoped for is happening. And you might it might be happening with the help of new friends and associates, new people coming into your life. And you're going towards a victory. For some people, it's a victory after there were some blatant lies that were spoken and then the truth comes out. This is the hand of the God of God, the hand of the divine coming through to cut through all the confusion, the mist, and yeah, getting to the roots to the brains of the matter. And a victory coming in with that. So the next week ahead is going to be quite interesting. A lot of powerful cars that have come out on the onset right there. So your new friends are coming in and spiritual help is coming in as well to make your dreams come true. There's unexpected good news coming in. Wow. So that's why hope is the conduit for miracles. So stay hopeful. Stay happy. Stay as joyful as you possibly can. Have your fun where you can because unexpected good news is coming in. That's going to make you very productive. And very happy and it's yeah productivity is coming in again it's rolling back in for you so that's a very good message for you in the past i see you, you may have gotten recognition for past efforts work that you were doing that you felt that no one acknowledged or saw then um someone started to acknowledge it or respect that work oh, i don't know why i said it that way respect that work okay maybe that's the message for someone um I see in your current circumstances, whenever you're finding this video, you're coming out of depression, sadness, regret, or some people loss as well. Yeah, it may even be loss that you're coming out of, and you are strengthening, and there will be a happily ever after, regardless of the circumstances that you're in. In the future, you're going to be working hard at mastering your craft, making sure you come out head and shoulders above the rest. You're not going for any sort of mediocre kind of production or work especially with the help of spirit and your wish fulfillment and the victory coming in there so there's no ways you're going to be doing mediocre work so you're definitely coming out head and shoulders above the rest this is a strong emphasis on work for some people hustle whatever you may call it recognition has come in has um, put some fire under your wings and 
giving you strength and you're going to be working very hard. For some people, you're meeting a new romantic attachment. Yeah, the key, the root, there's been some shocking revelations, startling truths, startling revelations that have come in. For those who've been on my channel before, guys, you know, this is a revelation, like I always say, this is not an act of cleverness where you cleverly discovered who the saboteurs were in your life. This is an act of God when God cuts through something that you've been building so that these saboteurs could be revealed and exposed and neutralized. So for some of you, yeah, you may have even have incurred some sort of a loss feeling that you lost out on an opportunity on something, there's some loss that has come through as the revelations came and come in. Oh. See, because you know, you're building this tower with all these squares. Now, where are all these rounds coming in from? And you are passing bricks to build this tower and you thought you're all on one team, but the saboteurs have been revealed and exposed. Shocking headlines, shocking um Revelation, something that really makes you sit up and think, whoa, what is this? Crossing your path, um, environmental factors that will help you or hinder you. I see there's going to be an improvement in your circumstances, um, a lot of hard work like with the number two, two coming in. So Spirit is saying, carry on going, continue to persevere, continue to work hard. It's going to, and you have a lot of balance in your life as well. Oh, guys, a wish fulfillment is coming twice again. So I feel that um, you're hoping that your wishes are fulfilled, though uh, some of you may be feeling let down by people who've cast a huge doubt on your own abilities because they didn't deliver of what they promised and they didn't make you look like a... Like a the word that's coming is sitting duck. Um, and, and yet there's good news coming out of that. A wish fulfillment is coming in this. Unex it's going to come in unexpectedly. A lot of you are going to be taking time to pause and reflect and see what you want to invest in and what you're not willing to invest in. To invest your time, your efforts, your energy, whatever form of um, energy coming out from you. And I see some people also getting uh, finances for capital investment. That's going to be very nice energy. Now, let's clarify, guys. Let's, guys, let's find out what is really going on. What is the major lie that you had to overcome or find out more about as you move forward? All right, let's get the stick here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guides, Archangels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Ariel, our ancestors, fairies, more people, spirit guides, clean guides of those who are drawn to this message, clean spirits only. What is that? Okay. Ooh, Wow. Okay, that's quite a story, but I've learned from experience, if I don't take the stories, they'll keep coming out. So let's take the story, because everyone's story is different. For some people, there was a confrontation with the Two of Swords reversed. So there was definitely confrontation that came up and an unsatisfactory kind of a situation for most people. So they tell me to take the rest of them in this form. Okay. So there was definitely some sort of confrontation and maybe huge lies that were spoken. And um, at times it may be like things that were under the surface coming to the forefront. Things that your intuition is just telling you about because she seems like she's underwater. Then there's a moon. The revelation came in. For some people, it was some form of close combat, like a co close confrontation, that kind of a thing. And I feel that... Um, Someone may be seeing your success and all of that, and they were not too happy about this happy home that you have, and they went and spoke some lies. This is just some slander of some sort, something to deliberately mislead uh, people around you, people in your circles, in your WhatsApp group, or whatever the situation may be. And they may have given you some sleepless nights. Look at her all worried, not sleeping at night, wondering what does this happen, and worrying about a lot of unknown variables that may or may not even play out. For some people, um, this is a different storyline. I feel that there may have been an ex coming in, so something from the past, a past partner, business partner, friend, lover, however it plays out for you. But I also feel that with the lies that came out there, I also feel that someone was lying to you that they're in a happy home. And yet they're actually not they're thinking about the times that you're together and they're having sleepless nights um, and they're seeing how successful you've managed to be. And there were some sort of childish pranks coming in. I spoke about the slander earlier on with the huge lie that came out there. Some sort of childish pranks that are childish but potentially harmful in some way. And some um, criticism that's not really founded, that doesn't have a base. But look at you still coming out and getting the respect of the community. But someone doesn't want to see this. This is that uh, person with the childish pranks. They don't want to see you rising up and getting all this recognition. They've got their head down. Look at the shadow character there. His head is down. He can't bear to see something actually um, 
getting a lot of respect from the community or someone getting a lot of respect from the community they're like why did that happen and i feel that this may have moved quite quickly for some people this situation that's at hand okay let's find out what is coming towards um, the collective remember this is general reading book your personal readings with me if you'd like to see how this is playing out in your particular life so what is coming up for the collective for the future so I feel that someone is very guarded, especially after the lies, especially very guarded concerning their work, their work ethics, and um, the methods that they want to use for their work. See, here's people trying to climb, come in and with all their swords or accusations or whatever they're coming with, and this person's like, no, you just stay the heck away from me. I'm guarded, I'm on guard, I'm on a high alert. Don't you ever think that you're going to sneak in in any way. I'm guarding the work. That I'm working on and I'm making sure that I continue to be the star that I've always known. Someone's catching someone who's been doing all that spying, sneaky stuff. See how this guy, those who've watched my readings uh, over the past few weeks, they know that this character has been coming out, this energy has been coming out for like the past three weeks. Some spying, some stealing, some very sneaky energy. But this came out reverse. So someone is getting caught. And someone's on a high alert, someone's very defensive, that's why this person is getting caught. I've also got two sevens coming in, that means a divine strategy, a strategy that comes from God, from spirits. And some spirits, some secrets are being revealed. Here we have some sort of a breaching confidentiality that could actually lead to enmity. When someone says something that actually leads people to become enemies. And I also see some cloak and dagger that came up in the last reading I did last Sunday. You might want to go back to that and see how that played out. Um, so there's been some cloak and dagger, but these people are getting caught. People behind the cloak and dagger are getting caught. Whatever secrets, because with her being reversed... The secret is not being kept. The secret, something is being revealed. Something is coming to the to the forefront, and there have been some clandestine affairs. You see the way he's sneaking around. This is at night time. It's interesting. Just as day is breaking, this is at night time. Here, this person is defending himself again at night time. So it doesn't have to be like night time as in uh, timing, but something done in the dark uh, to elude detection. Oh, that's how the words are coming out. I've got some interesting spirit guys in the house. So something was not why. Something went against in this traditional way. People traditionally believe that, no, you should uphold these values or whatever it may be. And this person didn't do that. They did something that's very unorthodox, that's not heard of, that's never been seen. And they have made some very foolish and costly mistakes, avoidable mistakes, because they have not listened to the advice of those who are wiser or more experienced than themselves. And it's interesting as well with the high priestess and the high priest both coming in. I call, I call them the grandfather and the grand, grandmother coming in. And this person has gone against both of them. So it's like a crime to the world, a crime to the universe, whatever they're doing. And you're guarded, you're protected, and you're on top of things. You being on top of the stairs. Those who've had dreams about stairs know that as you go up the stairs, that means some sort of elevation, I'd have to go deep into each person's particular dream to interpret how it played out. But this is coming out real strong. And you're no longer heartbroken. Yes, there was some sort of betrayal, being stabbed in the back. Obviously, this guy's got enough swords to stab a couple of people in the back, you know, to just betray them and whatever. But you're over that. You know, you're in your defense mode on a high alert. So you don't have time for all these, um, to indulge these feelings of betrayal and stuff like that. And you're deciding to work hard instead. And you're not having sleepless nights anymore. But something is not being put to rest. Whatever this thing has, it's not being put to rest. And even though you're resting, you've got your sword right near you. You're like, no, you just try that stuff again. I had to edit my words. You try that stuff. Just you try that stuff. Even when, I, when I'm asleep, I can feel every motion and I can reach out and still continue to do battle if you should ever decide to come in an, in another way. Wow, that's quite a powerful message. So Spirit is asking you to listen to your intuition. You may be dealing with Pisces energy as well. As you do your work, listen to your intuition. So I feel as well for some people, someone's getting creative ideas about work and things are being revealed. Maybe it's to do with colleagues or the workplace or... or, or okay, yeah. Um, all right. I heard another word, but I'll, I'll leave that behind. I feel as well that um, someone's coming in with an offer for someone. This could be someone you work with. Uh, they're coming in with an offer that, that reminds you of the good old days that makes you very like sentimental and stuff like that. That's another energy coming out. Let's find out what the shocking revelations are. What the key, the roots, the real story behind the story is. 
So the lies have happened right now. And whatever these people try to do with this, that sneaky character who came up earlier on, it wasn't successful. Yeah, let's find out. What is the tower moment for the collective? But I feel like you're coming out of any depression that the shocking news may have come to you. It's not like you're just numb, but you're just in a place where you're like, okay, I'm moving forward. I don't have the luxury of sitting here moaning. So I feel that someone is, um, it, it, it's, it's going to be shocking a revelation that someone is juggling two situations, two like hustles, two jobs or something like that. And they had to drop the hustle, the, the juggle. Here they were juggling two things and it could come as a shock for someone. And yes, the truth came in or it's coming in, it's coming rushing in real fast. See how this guy is rushing to his motorbike. To take action, this is like about fast moving action because he's got spiritual intel coming in there with the ego leading him forward. And he's ready for action, he's ready for whatever, he's traveling light and making sure he's ready to take action before day finally breaks. Again, all these things about the clandestine things. Something's going to be a success with what this guy is rushing forward towards. What as the truth comes out, so it could be quite shocking. Some shocking truth comes out, and someone acts on it quite quickly, and it's a success definitely a success with the six of uh, coins coming in. Let's just clarify this a little bit more. When cards like this come out, I don't like to just breeze over them because to be highly irresponsible to leave people, even in a general reading, wondering what played out next. Let's find out what is the juggle, the shocking news. So I feel that someone's intuition is telling them that there was something else at hand and they're choosing another path when the truth comes and they listen to the intuition and it's leading them to choose another path because they now know everything that there is to know about the matter at hand. And they've got inspiration. Some people have got their spirit guides, their dogs and all of that. They've got in, in, inspiration. And where they're going is light, it's illumination. And spirit guides are waiting along the path, so they now know everything they need, they need to know, and they're choosing a different direction. So perhaps changing um, a, a certain direction that they thought, okay, it, it's, it's working out in this way, or it's going to happen in that way. Ooh, that was quite loud. I have to take those ones. Could be something to do with someone in the past. Someone in the past was juggling some sort of a thing, um, a situation, and you're deciding not to give them your crown. You're about to give them a promotion of some sort. There you are, the crown. But with this reversed, you kind of like know there's too much light. And this is a warning against listening to um, deceitful words. When someone lies to you, you're being asked to use your discernment. Something's moving forward quickly. I was about to clarify like the Knight of Swords and Spirit is saying it's the Knight of Swords. So something's moving in very fast here. Fast moving action. And I feel that whatever truth is coming out is a transformative kind of a truth. But you're protected. You see how the four rings that the bulls on this protection, divine protection, and using psychic abilities and help from, from beyond, you know, help from spirit, from a force that cannot be seen easily. And you're rushing to a success. Whatever this shocking news is, you're still going to have the success. Here's the victory coming in with the Ace of Swords again. Wow, that's quite powerful. So let's find out. Um... What is the Knight of Swords? Though the Knight of Swords came to clarify itself a little earlier on. Right, let me use these skills. What is the Knight of Swords? I'm, as I'm speaking, I'm getting a sense of something having a trail, something um, being easily identifiable, identifiable because there's a trail or there's a story leading to it. So you're getting fast-moving energy coming in that's going to help you to work hard, to focus on your work. This is the Eight of Coins coming in, Eight of Pentacles coming in twice in this reading. With Eight, Eight, things are going to move very fast. Fast-moving action. Oh, we actually had a triple seven, so it's a jackpot for you. Some truth you're finding out, some truth that's coming out is a jackpot, and there's help from unexpected quarters, from um, um, new friends, new associates, and making you have a dream come true. For some people, I feel that you're working hard towards your marriage or your home or a house and things like that, and getting some information about that. For someone else, I feel that it's information about something that's been revealed to you. 
um, I feel that something is being revealed through your intuition, although some will argue that intuition is a, a product of learned responses and socialization, um, though the, uh, this is not the platform to even be uh, putting in those arguments, but um, intuition is usually spot on. Just need you to do a bit of research around your intuition and then just to um, validate, I suppose, so something was not moving forward in terms of like a group, uh, I want to say a corporate or a team. Something had just become stagnant. Here we've got the stagnation and you've taken time to look at the whole matter from a different perspective. See how she's hanging upside down. So she's seeing things in a different perspective. She's holding a leg. She said, let me not just move quickly. Let my, in, my, in my intuition and a different perspective help me to solve this riddle. Help me to solve this equation. Wow, that's deep. And put down the heavy burden because something has been a burden and you said you just take a step forward to listen to intuition and after listening to intuition, you're taking, uh, getting rid of the baggage, you know, delegating the baggage and moving forward quickly and some offers coming in for someone, an offer that's bigger than all the other offers you've gotten. So I suppose it could even be like an offer for, um, after very good work, you know, a good show of, um, Courage or valor, that's what it's coming through, or good work. And this offer is coming from universe. This offer is bigger than all the other offers you've gotten before. And you're kind of like, hey, let me just wait a bit, um, see things from a different perspective, and then decide, here we are, again, same energy, see things from a different perspective, and then decide now I'm going to move forward here. Do I go this way or do I go that way? I've got the fire and the earth element in me. What do I do? All right, let's find out. What advice we have from spirit for the week ahead? Yeah, someone is just trying to be a bit too controlling over your productivity and your good work, but they're finding that it's not a good idea. I feel that um, some of you are, are being advised to listen to your intuition as you move forward. Wow, someone's intuition is telling them to move forward towards a happy home. Wow, that's beautiful energy. What other advice do we have from Spirit for the collective? What message do we have? Some people will be dealing with the Aries energy, but not necessarily. So Spirit is asking you to heal from um, yeah, that dramatic part that came up at the end of last week. You're healing, though some people may be going through loss and grieving and regret and all of that, but I see the community coming in to work together, a lot of cooperation, a lot of good help, and um, a lot of research as well, taking time to research before moving forward. For some of you, Spirit is asking you to see love through every situation and to work towards the situation with a mutual trust and respect. Wow, here we've got triple eight guys. This is abundance coming in. I, I don't know how it's coming, but there's abundance definitely coming in. And here's you hard at work knowing and being very good. Spirit is saying, those who are watching this video, you're very good at your work. You stay up till late at night doing your research. Um, you know how to put things together, you know how to observe certain times and sequences, and that's going to be very good. And, and, and Angel is coming in to help you this week, to open a special doorway for you where you can be really um, independent for those who are looking to be financially independent or just independent in some way and expand in all sorts of ways. Also getting good news concerning children and their affairs, children bringing in some important messages. Guys, Thank you very much. Um, please book your personal readings with me. Share, like, subscribe to this channel. Until the next one, take care, love and light to you.